Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Our video for today focuses on cardiovascular exam questions. I will give you 30 seconds to answer, and I will share the correct answer and rationale after the given time. If you're ready, let's start. Question number one. The correct answer is letter B. The patient has likely developed a hematoma from bleeding at the femoral puncture site. The bleeding must be stopped so the nurse should apply pressure to the site and notify the physician. At some point, a heavier sandbag may be indicated but not in lieu of direct pressure. The leg should be neutral and not elevated. Monitoring coagulation is a later concern. Question number two. The correct answer is letter C. The patient is exhibiting clinical signs and symptoms of a myocardial infarction. Therefore, nursing care should focus on improving myocardial oxygenation and reducing cardiac workload, confirming the diagnosis of MI and preventing complications, reducing anxiety and relieving pain, and providing a non-demanding environment are secondary to improving myocardial oxygenation and reducing workload. Stressors can't be eliminated, only reduced. Question number three. The correct answer is letter A. With an intraaortic balloon pump, an inflatable balloon is inserted through the femoral artery into the descending aorta. The balloon inflates during diastole when the aortic valve is closed. This is to increase coronary artery perfusion. It also deflates during systole when the aortic valve opens. This is to reduce resistance to ejection or afterload and to reduce cardiac workload. Question number four. The correct answer is letter D. The butamine should improve the client's symptoms and the client should experience an increased tolerance for activity. Arrhythmias and hypertension are adverse effects associated with the butamine. While a negative Hohmann sign indicates absence of blood clots, which isn't a therapeutic effect of the butamine. If you want to watch a simple discussion about myocardial infarction, 
You can check this link or check it in the description below after you watch this video. It contains vital information that you need to understand about MI. Let's continue. Question number 5. The correct answer is letter A. A dissecting aortic aneurysm is a precursor to aortic rupture, which leads to hemorrhage and hypovolemic shock. Question number 6. The correct answer is letter B. A rise in pulmonary artery diastolic pressure suggests left-sided heart failure. Central venous pressure will rise in heart failure. The cardiac index will decline in heart failure. And the mean pulmonary artery pressure would increase in heart failure. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.